So, okay, before you get to your question, we got to learn about this car. So this isn't just a 911 that you can get down at the, at the dealership, right? No. No. Tell us about this. What is it and, and what makes it so special? So this model's uh, the 911 GT3. It's the it's basically the, the race car version of the race cars. Basically, so it's, it's the higher end racier version of a Porsche. You have a 911 Turbo that's actually faster, but the GT3 is designed for track use. And so it's like the, it's a 9,000 RPM horizontally opposed six cylinder. So that means rather than a V8, you have horizontally opposed all the pistons go this boxers. way. So it's a boxer, exactly, like a My Subaru. <laughs> Um, I'm, a, I'm a BMW bike guy too. So the box, oh, nice! Yeah, the boxers. Right on. Those are cool. GS. Yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. Though. There's a bunch oh, yeah. of what? What's that? B BDR. The uh, the yeah, back the backcountry discovery, backcountry discovery which is super yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. Most definitely. It's a um, great way to get away from the death missiles of the, of the cars that are on the highway. Totally. You get, you get on a dirt road, and all your worries are on yeah, you. And stay, <laughs> you break stay your little, leg, it's your fault. Yeah, there's still stuff out there. <laughs> yeah, stay at little right. properties along the way yeah. where there's there's nothing out there, but at least they got Wi-Fi set up on certain <laughs> it's properties. Like, it's kind of cool. This? Yeah. Thanks, Elon. Appreciate that. Yeah, but uh, so it's it's just the the race car version of a 911. It's got the big big spoiler that I arguably like some people love it some people hate it because you're like a, a little kid still which i am <laughs> not growing up i'm like if it doesn't have the wing i don't want it i might want the thing that looks like a hot wheels that i grew up putting around my mom's water bed all of the hot wheels yep. just lining them up like i've loved cars since i was like two three years old as long as i can remember so this is like it was a dream come true to get it i actually started crying when i got the car I dang that amazing why well, didn't i just thought as i was coming around and pulling in i I, th I thought, who in the world's beautiful car is that? And so you chose, it's like an orange, right? Yes, it's called Pastel Orange. So Pas it's a paint to sample. It's, uh, the, the story behind that, I told them earlier, but I'll, I guess, give you a, a recap. Um, I started with Porsche in 2007, and they came out with a GT3 RS that was in GT3 RS Orange at the time, but it's called Pastel. And uh, I always said, I wish I could have that car. I started with an Infiniti, G Infiniti G20, and it was like a $1,200 car. Like now, I'm like, I can't afford a $200,000 sure. race car, but I would love one. I'd love that car, that color, everything. And so now they're really, really expensive, those exact models. And so I just decided to get a new one, which is still an expensive thing. But like, rather than go back to an older, slower car that's way more money, I want a brand new one and just put that color on my car. Very cool. So that was the, the story of that. You knew what you were going to get when you went over there. So being in the business, you kind of know, like I wouldn't know what accessories or ads to put into a car. Like what are some other things that you added to the car that perhaps someone wouldn't think about that make the car exceptional? Um, well, there's, and you have to think about resale value. You really do because it is uh, it is a special car and there's a special group of people that if you don't get a certain option or certain things on it, that it's going to uh, make it worth less money. Mm. And, and they just, that's just all there is to it. So you got to make sure you option it correctly when you build it too for the resale value. Um, it's debatable on the brakes. So there's a brakes, they're called uh, Porsche Carbon Ceramic Brakes, PCCBs. Um, it's an $11,000 option to have these brakes. Wow. And Jesus. if you had to replace them, they're almost 50 grand. It's oh crazy. God. But for the $11,000 option, that's what everyone wants. They want those PCCBs. So it makes that, that's like a, a no brainer. For 11 grand, you, you just do it. If you have the chance to do it, you do it. Okay. Uh, that and uh, the LED headlights, like the special headlights that they have, um, is another option. Front axle lift is huge, which is, uh, it's, it lifts at about two inches, basically. So you push a little button and the front end raises so you can get through oh. places like your driveway. Got it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I bet you had to use that getting in here. For yep, sure. I sure did. <laughs> and then, and then little things like uh, deviated stitching, which means the color of the exterior color of the car comes into the car. So you have orange stitching all throughout all of the the carbon bucket seats. The nice. dash, uh, the dash is leather and not like the the plastic type of material. I don't know what they call the actual other material, but it's not leather. Um, so things like that are. Are a big deal when just the touch and feel every everything inside. Wow! But um, that's that's really the the main things: the brakes, the headlights, um, and front axle lift. Those are the main things. And I guess it, it could say the carbon bucket seats. Mm -hmm. So they're they're the sport seats. They're like six grand. You just option for those versus they call the other ones couches. The other ones couches. They're like eighteen way, really nice seats. They're super comfortable. 
but you're putting those seats in a race car so it almost like doesn't fit it's doesn't more for like right yeah like if you're gonna put those seats just get the the other models of 911s that are more comfortable because sure. it's not a comfortable right. car huh